on February 24, 2022, Russia launched its offensive against Ukraine. In two years, a lot have changed. Thousands of people have died. Thousands more remain missing. Critical infrastructures have been destroyed. Hundreds of residential infrastructures damaged. Ukrainians have now become immune to the constant air sirens. However, the situation is different in the frontline towns, as people living near the frontline are under a constant fear. In the Ukrainian village of Roza, here's a cemetery. Among the many laid to rest, there are 59 people who were killed in October in a single rocket strike. In a northeastern Ukrainian village, which is situated just outside the town of Shevchenkov, the Russian strike killed at least fifth of the population. There were screams. People were shouting. We screamed and cried. And then there was silence. They were instantly killed. Since then, residents easily get startled by any other sound. Of course, of course. This is what I'm afraid of. Where else next? The situation is somewhat same for many frontline cities. Many civilians from the Ukrainian town of Avdivka have evacuated to nearby towns and cities. Meanwhile, the number of missing people is another concern that haunts Ukrainians. Several of them are volunteer soldiers who disappeared. To this day, I am looking for my son. I still believe there's a 1% chance that he is alive. As long as I am alive, I will wait for him, look for him, and I can't accept it yet. He is alive for me. Thousands of Ukrainians are desperately seeking news of their loved ones. According to Ukraine's national police, more than 30,000 people have been reported missing since the war started. Police also says that more than 18,000 DNA samples of relatives of servicemen and civilians have been collected. Authorities have asked their relatives to submit their loved ones' photos if the relatives believe they have seen photos of their loved ones on Russian social media sites. Last year, authorities have processed around 200 cases for families of military personnel. All this is made more difficult by the fact that there is no result. We are not one step closer and it feels like we are hitting a wall. We also wrote to the European Court of Human Rights, but Russia withdrew from it. We wrote to the UN Human Rights Committee, but they did not accept it. Meanwhile, over 4 million people have been displaced. Another 6 million have left the country. Two years, but the war in Ukraine still rages on. Russian forces are encircling key Ukrainian towns as Ukrainian forces are struggling to hold the defense lines. Bear report, we on for this one.